We're here at VMworld 2018 in Las Vegas, and we're visiting the Morpheus booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Yeah, sure. So Morpheus Data is a orchestration and automation platform. Uh, one of the biggest problems we see in large enterprise environments is they usually buy a lot of tools like these ones we have behind us, but those tools don't talk to each other very well. So for companies who are trying to move faster, deploy new applications very quickly, we overlay all these tools and put them into a workflow so that companies can do self-service provisioning very quickly across multiple cloud providers. So both their on-prem VMware estates, turn those into functional private clouds or platform as a service offerings, right. but also tie in public clouds like AWS, Azure, Google, um, and orchestrate that all through a single pane of glass. And how do you fit into the VMware ecosystem? Sure, I'll, I'll take this and I'm actually going to let Dave, our VP of Engineering, kind of pile on because I can only go so far. But essentially, we make VMware better. We help companies get better utilization out of their on-premises VMware because they're turning it into a highly automated uh, platform so they can move more quickly, uh, so they don't have as much uh, need to go out to the public cloud. Uh, but we also tie into things like you know, NSX, other technologies to make it a lot simpler to manage. But uh, I'm going to ask David to pile on. Yeah, so I, I think one of the real big benefits we provide to the VMware community is we integrate with a lot of common tool sets that uh, all these VMware users are using. Things like Infoblox and BlueCat and, and then those other types of tools that developers are using. So we help kind of make a more cohesive story from the developer side all the way down to the IT side uh, in the VMware context and even into cloud native capabilities. And so where do you see multi-cloud and DevOps orchestration going over the course of the next couple of years? Uh, I mean, I think a lot of it's going to move in, into the container world. I mean, we're talk talking about Kubernetes orchestration is where you see a lot of the, the public cloud or the cloud native functionality going. I think we'll start seeing some of the cloud native features and services we see in public clouds uh, potentially start to make their way into the private cloud sector as well, uh, maybe even in the VMware side at some point. And what are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, it's interesting being at uh, being at VMworld today. Uh, I've been at the show for a long time. It started out you know, five, six years ago. It was a very storage-centric show because that was the problem people were trying to solve. Uh, the last couple of years, it's moved to hyper-converge and converge systems as a way to stand up infrastructure more quickly. Uh, this year, we're really seeing orchestration, automation, those technologies take center stage because I think companies are realizing that moving quickly is the key to their differentiation. So I think hybrid cloud management has become more and more important as part of your VMware conversation because at the end of the day, companies are trying to deploy and manage applications. Everything else, the hypervisor, the servers, the storage is simply enablers of that. And the, the last mile to making application development and deployment move fast is where we are uh, with application abstraction and, and automation. So we're excited. We think this is where the puck's going. And over the next few years, it's just going to become even more and more important as, uh, as companies turn their focus on that. Great. And would it be possible for us to uh, take a look at your product? And yeah, get a absolutely. Demo? I am not the world's best demoer, so I'm going uh, to let Dave Estes take over. So what are you going to show us? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the orchestration automation features of Morpheus in this demo. Uh, and then we'll kind of talk lightly about some of the other capabilities that Morpheus provides on top of the VMware stack. Great. So um, Morpheus actually has a, a great orchestration automation piece. You can see here I've got the provisioning uh, instances screen up. And there are several instances already running. You see, we talked about that agnostic approach earlier. We have things ranging from various public cloud providers all the way to on-prem VMware. And the way this works is I can simply say I want to add an instance. Um, and I can pick an instance type. We provide a catalog, say I want a web server. So I'm going to pick that web server here. And it could be a database as well. And then I can pick a group in cloud. So there's really fine-grained uh, governance and role-based access control provided by Morpheus. So you get that self-service capability while IT still maintains control of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit next on this when it's going into our VMware cloud here. And then I can pick a couple options. One is we support Docker natively as well as Kubernetes. Or I can just do a, a VMware VM. 
Um, and this wizard adapts based on the target cloud, so you get all the functionality you would get in your vCenter or VMware based on the restrictions applied by IT in your self-service environment. I can pick a cluster or resource pool I want it to go into. Um, I can actually uh, pick a data store or a DRS cluster, pick my network. And we talked about one of those things we provide to the VM ecosystem is we also tie in those other pieces like your IP address management, which is doing so here. Uh, and I can even pick a folder. There's a ton of other options. I'm going to skip those for now, but you can even do things like code deployment, load balancer assignment, tie into Chef and Ansible. Um, and I lost my mouse. There it is. Uh, so for example, I could actually tie in Ansible, Chef, I also assign a load balancer, so say you have an F5 or Abbey Network. So all those integration pieces start getting glued together. So when you provision this, and I'm going to go ahead and do that, it even does a cost. And there it goes right here. So I can drill into it. It's actually going to give me the estimated time to completion. I can see all the details about this VM that is going to be uh, orchestrating here for me. I can add nodes and do auto scaling capabilities. Um, I can even automate the tie-ins of backups, monitoring, and logging as well. So it's not just about provisioning, it's also about the day two operation of the application you're deploying. And this goes a step further, we're just doing single VMs here, uh, but we can also make complicated multi-tiered blueprints and build very large applications with a single press of a button. And just to kind of see how that looks from a visual representation there. We also support infrastructure as code as well as visual representation, so we can kind of give you a preview for that uh, as well. So adding a VMware Cloud, or one thing that I also like to show is, not only do we do Greenfield, but when you actually tie in your VMware Cloud, uh, we can give you cost estimates from that cloud, we can give you right sizing recommendations, and we also ingest the existing environment, so we can take that, that set of VMs you've already got in your environment and convert those to managed instances and actually treat them just like they were provided by Morpheus in the first place. Great. Well, thanks for taking uh, the time to show VM Blog a little bit about the product. Where can they go if they want to find out more information about Morpheus? Just go to morpheusdata.com. There's a ton of resources there and documentation as well as uh, uh, contact engagements so if you want to reach out and, and uh, do a POC or something along those lines.